Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul Chorso, and welcome back to my Cravers tutorial slash playthrough, but free to be more specific. So last time I ended on maybe not really a cliffhanger, I just had to decide my technology, the kind of technology I would want to go for. And like I stated at the end of the last video, it will have to do something to do with the military. For this very simple reason that, well, for the enemy are kind of encroaching on my territory, slowly but surely. And I, truthfully, I do want to be at war with them fairly quickly for the very simple reason that being at war with them will give me a lot of extra approval. I mean, not a lot, a bit of extra approval, but nevertheless it will be approval that I can use to have more slaves in my planets, which is very important. So it's about time we start the war preparations. So I'm not going to go for official shooting just yet. I'll I'm not really in a hurry or in a rush right now. Maybe I would be far playing multiplayer because you should definitely should start your military research in multiplayer faster than in single player because you never know who's going to rush you. But either way, I'm not in immediate danger right now. I don't need to go for efficient shooting right at this instant. Instead, I'm going to go for these technologies in order to try and unlock extra ship, better ship design, which will let my ships level up as soon as they are made, which increases the battle effectiveness by quite a bit. It's very important. That's why I like unlocking those uh, tiers in military quadrant as quickly as possible. But I often ignore what's in the top quadrant. I just want access to the top quadrant. Top era, rather, not quadrant. So, what am I going to go for? Like I said, I have a good income of Hyperium and Titanium too. I'm about to get, increase my Titanium income by a lot. However, I already stuck by a decent amount of Titanium and I want to use Hyperium f uh, of Hyperium, I mean, and I want to use Titanium on other things. So, I will probably go for the beam weapons. Which means that I will want to go for Focus Plasma right now. It is going to give me better plating with... Uh, wait, not Focus Plasma. <laughs> Astable Isotope, Isotope, because it is going to give me basic uniform shooting, which I don't really care about, I suppose. But better shoots are sometimes useful, I suppose. Better Sync Laser, again, not something I care about, but it does give me Plasma Intensifier. Huh, I just thought to myself, is this weapon better or worse than the weapon I unlocked? 16 damage, 10% critical and lowers the enemy weapon accuracy, whereas the weapon that I have unlocked deals 13 damage and 5%, 13 damage and 5%, so 5 less damage and less damage and less draw damage as well. So yeah, no, improved sync, I do have a reason to go for improved sync lasers. Good to know. So, and because I want to go for improved sync lasers, I need to go for plasma intensifier to deal even more damage with my attack ships. I'm also going to need autonomous construction because it contains the tank upgrade, which is one of the most important things for Cravers. We'll be doing a lot of invasioning in this playthrough, which means that we will need tanks to do the dirty job. They are... I love tanks. Not necessarily in late real life, I'm just, meh, I don't really care about tanks, but in this game they're very important. Additionally, coordinated command is just something that I always go for in every game because the bigger the fleet, the more likely you are to win, regardless of how advanced your ships are. It's just a very important thing to grab, and I always get it. Literally always. So, I also need to use this as an opportunity to talk about something very important. If you are playing in single player, there is a strategy you can abuse to make yourself basically, your fleets rather, or ships, basically invincible, impossible to be defeated by whatever AI f uh, throws at you. And if I were to abuse this tactic, a strategy or whatever, there's a lot of uh, content in my voice right now, because I'm not content. Uh, content. Whatever. Either way, I'm not too keen on the strategy because I hate abusing uh, a broken system, but basically I would go for Focus Plasma to get Kinetic Enhancer and then I would go for Improved Order than Slugs, or just use these Slugs, that would be good enough. So what's, what is the problem? Let me go into Ship Designer again for a second to explain it to you a little bit better. So basically, if you equip all of your ships with... Uh, Kinetic weapons, or to be more specific, how they really called? They are called well, slag weapons, whatever. Yeah, kinetic weapons. That's how they are called. All right. Uh, so anyway, if you were to equip all your ships with only kinetic weapons and declare war on every player in the galaxy, which as a craver you will do anyway, then of course this will make a lot of people mad at you. By which I mean the AIs. But what it is going to make is that all the ships that AIs will make will be equipped with beams. 
And this will make you win everything. Why? Because, well, they will never get to shoot. We got a little preview of that in my previous Unfallen playthrough, haven't we? It's basically some trick that you can abuse. If you use yeah, slugs, then AI will try to hard counter you by equipping the entire armada with just the beams. Which is stupid, because beams, sure, they deal a lot of damage, but the weapon range is only short. But they will usually never even get a chance to fire at your ships if you use the correct battle cards that keep your ships away from the enemy ships. So you'll be able to destroy the enemy ships before they even get a chance to fire. Granted, later in the game, in late game for example, and you might have enough ships or big enough ships to actually soak up enough damage of your kinetics so that their ships can actually reach your lungs and use the beams, but even then it will be a very, very poor trade on the AI's part. It will be absolutely horrible. Now, why am I not going to do this tactic? First of all, I'm not here to min-max, I'm here to have fun. Of course, I am going to teach you as many things as I can about this game, but fun is, in my honest opinion, the most important thing we need to achieve when playing in a space 2. We do do this for fun, after all, right? Of course, winning is also important, but let's not go too crazy, right? Using a bad tactic that just wrecks the AI, in my opinion, is not fun at all, right? Besides, there is also another reason, because I am talking with the developers about this issue whenever I got the chance to talk about the AI or weapon models, but usually about the AI because it's the AI that is really at fault. And I'm trying to make the developers understand that it doesn't matter that beams have this ridiculous amount of damage when they have only short range. It's not that this weapon is useless. It is a very situational weapon that in certain scenarios is extremely powerful and scary and good. But the problem is that it is a situational weapon. If you just tell the AI to equip all of its ships with B weapons just because the majority of the player's ships use kinetic slugs, then this is frankly stupidity. And this, and I say this with full respect by the way, I love Amplitude and whatnot, but it is really ridiculously stupid because enemies, AI ships just never even have a chance. So. What I'm saying is that I have been trying for a while and I will always keep trying to convince the developers to make the AI mix their ship's weapons designs a little bit so that they have different weapons or ships with different purpose. Even if they don't directly counter the human player, they just make themselves safer against whatever human player may throw at them. And additionally, to prevent the AI from ever being in a situation where all of the ships are just using plasma beams that are never fired. So, yeah, I'll try to do that. I may not succeed, but in case I do succeed, then, you know, this overpowered strategy against the AI of using just kinetics on every ship will no longer be valid in the future, which means that it's pointless for me to teach you just that. And again, it's not really teaching, it's just, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, it's stupid. So yeah, I think, I hope I explained this well enough. So, now that we got this out of the way, I think, oh! Right, there is something I kind of forgot to do, but thankfully didn't. So, oh, actually, I just realized, I think the last time I also skipped the Ash colonization movie, didn't I? I probably did. Anyway, something I probably forgot to do, because I think I improved my systems before, is I forgot to actually use the spaceport. I did talk about it in the last video, but I did not actually use that. So, Right now, our host is losing population, that's whatever. I want host to grow Tikanan, Tikanan or whatever, so I'm going to leave those guys in here. Because I want them to grow as quickly as possible, and I think a host, after it stops supplying the other systems with food, will be the system that grows the fastest. What I am going to do, however, is send in two Harashems, and I'll send them to Traim. In order to supply Traim with some nice free, uh, duty-free slaves that will help this system be more powerful. It will also prevent it from being depleted too quickly and the slaves will be extremely efficient. Now, in order to actually maintain those slaves, or rather deal with the disapproval, uh, the approval penalty I'll get from actually using those slaves, I will need to declare war on the Vodiani and the Unfallen, but this is something I can do. And I do want to breed the Haroshams because, again, slaves are efficient even on depleted planets. So you want to have as much as big of a population of them as possible. In my tactic, you want to just have a massive population of all kinds of people, be that craven or slaves, all of them you just want to have a lot of. 
because uh, they give you, aside from slaves being efficient, they also give you those uh, ratio bonuses, which vary depending on the kind of race we're talking about. And I really hope I can breed T.E. Kanan. I really, really do. In order, actually, if I wanted to make absolutely sure that I get Tikanan, Tikanan or whatever, how I'm supposed to pronounce it, to breed, I could send all of the Hiroshims over to try him. But to be entirely frank with you, uh, I can actually force the, yeah, I can force the Tikanan, Tikanan to breed right now. But then I would have to send those Har at least one of the Hiroshims back into the system because I do want them to breed faster and I can make them breed faster by making them present in more than just one system at the same time so yeah there is that but for the time being I really want the kind of blah blahs to be as numerous as possible so I can send them to other systems as well like Delphinus for example I love them to be there Haroshans also could be useful in Delphinus mind you but I'll deal with that in a moment now as for mutation mutation has access to Calagaros and I will send Calagaros over to Essa, yes, Essa. So one Calgaros, I could send two of them and make this plant ecstatic, which would be nice. Huh? Why can I not send you? I'm trying my best. There we go. Strange, it didn't want to be clicked, but whatever, now it's fixed. So yeah, now the system is ecstatic, which will help it develop nicely. I'm going to... For now, I care more about science than a bit of extra industry. Other industries really important and it's a cheap upgrade as well so let's go for industry first so let's send two of those guys over to essa they should breed relatively quickly over there and again i'll get a decent uh, approval penalty for having it in there but at the same time i do want to have my minor populations breed all right with that out of the way i can proceed with the antenna button and see if my tea is uh, has managed to cool down a little bit and is now drinkable and i'll use the good old technique of putting my finger inside the liquid itself to check if i can drink it and it looks like i can and if you're disgusted by that then well it's not my problem i'm the one drinking my own tea and pardon me as i do just that Man, I'm s I love tea. I really do. Ah, such a wonderful invention. I don't know what I would do without it. Whew, alright then. Yeah. Abaro, I did not ask for that. Oh well, let's retreat, I suppose, for the time being. Meanwhile, Delphinus, Delphinus, how am I supposed to pronounce this place? Also, I just realized I didn't rename my systems. Oh well, I'll do it at the start before I start the next video. So, dear Dolphinos, uh, you are going to need some extra improvements. I'm pretty sure my hero is still locked this stand, so I cannot do anything. What are you? You just uh, a random food system, a food shipment, which is just in the orbit. All right, fine. You be there, I suppose. I don't really care. Now, constructs have two Tikanans, and I'll send one of them over to the newly created colonized system of Dolphinos to increase the likelihood of uh, Tikanan breeding quickly because I really really do want that to happen so there's that and where are the Haroshans oh wow they are really slow actually man I didn't think about that I shouldn't maybe have sent all three of them but I really want to guarantee the f that they can grow quickly so I'm not too salty about this uh, uh, this whole affair. I'm going to keep Intruder here for one turn to guarantee that Tikana can travel safely and then I'll move it to try him to make sure that the Haroshans can travel safely Alright, as for my research, I'm going to go for efficient shooting for the time being. Come on, I want to click it. There we go, I click it. I'm so proud of myself for clicking things. And I suppose I could immediately follow up by improving, by getting better weapons. And I will do exactly that. And I don't think... Uh, the reduced upkeep of fleets is kind of important, so I'll grab that as well. And all of this will be done in six turns, which is quite a bit, mind you. But this is actually kind of important. This would increase my fleet's uh, level up ability and I do need some other upgrades as well I shouldn't fo overly focus on just those things so I'll go for Hyperion Magnetics just to have extra firepower on my ships and then I'll start spamming those ships so there's that also by the way I could go for Ubiquitous Surveillance for this extra 40 XP on ships but I don't think it's worthwhile I'm sure it is good don't get me wrong as I usually get for go for it uh, except for when I'm playing as Kravis, because Kravis start with the other technology and they have an improvement technology over here, which gives you even more experience when your ships level up. Of course, those bonuses do stack, 
So you could go for Unibicruiter Surveillance. I maybe would do that depending on my enemies if I play multiplayer. Right now I don't think it's entirely necessary and it's a bit of science uh, wasted in my opinion. Well, not wasted, but science that I could use uh, for different things. So there is that. Alrighty then, I think everything is ready for me to finish my 10 and I will do just that. And the 10 and drink some of my tea and support the military party because I'm almost certain they are in the lead anyway. Hmm. Indeed they are. Good. Alrighty then. They're established, which is nice. Not going to be very meaningful for us right this instant, but it's going to be nice nevertheless. Oh right! I have this law enacted that is not useful for me right now. So let's make sure it's not enacted because we're wasting influence on that and we don't need anything of the sort. Yeah, those guys just flew away from my home system, so it's not necessary. Instead, I can go for brains over bugs, which I can definitely afford, and this will increase my science output quite considerably. So let's go ahead and go for that. Call spaceman, spaceman. I do not like this event whatsoever. It's a flat out negative event. <sighs> can I afford the approval penalty? I'll deal with that in a second after I think for a while. Meanwhile, Essa. Essa has a ton of cravers already and it's about to have some extra immigrants in as well. So this is going to be a wild ride for Essa, I suppose. Let's give it a bit of science production and then food production. Only dead food production because right now it's, it's just full of food and it doesn't need the extras really. You focus on being on this planet. Let's just try to keep this planet healthy for a little bit longer and keep and keep sucking on this planet nice and easy also I can go for a spin product over here which I definitely want to go for it's kind of slow actually so maybe we'll do that later and as for host uh, there's no need to go for spin product anywhere right now so you're fine with that and I do not see any ships nearby uh, Dolphinus so I think those Dicanans or whatever they're called will arrive just safely so let's go ahead and secure Trireme with my big tank like ship. So there's that done. Let's see. Let's have a quick look. See what else do I need to do? I don't think there's anything ready. We're doing just fine. Are we ready? Is that all I needed to do? I think so. I'm waiting for population to move around a little bit. Oh yeah, there is also the event. So I will get a lot of penalty approval, approval penalty on all of my systems after distributing the slaves. So I think I'll resign from the extra industry. Uh, this is 50 industry on some of my systems. This is actually quite a bit. Although, then again, I am cravers. If anybody can take that punishment in industry, it's me. But it's 10 tens of minus 15 industry. No, mate. I just I gotta go for approval. This is way too much of a hit, and I should still, for the time being, be okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do not agree with the amount of industry I would have lost, sorry, just nah, -uh. not at this stage of the game. Maybe later it would be okay, I was almost tempted to accept that, but I'm not right now. Okay, Warden, what are you, do you say? You are a nice plant I kind of want to colonize. So, let's think about it, and by think about it, I mean, let's go ahead and grab that. So, let's see, I need a pupa ship, can I buy it out? I cannot really. But I can have it made real quick, like, so I'm gonna do just that. There's also a chaos, which I still remember about. I can leave that for a little bit later. This place is too close to the Unfallen for comfort. I think they might try to grab that quickly, so I need to send a ship over there as quickly as possible. This place, I don't. I'm, I'll see when the Unfallen get close to Echo, so I don't need to worry about it just yet. So, with that out of the way, I'm going to end my turn and drink some more of my delicious, delicious tea. No, I'll be entirely honest with you. It's not the okay then. It's not the best tea I have ever drunk. There are better ones, but it is good for my throat, so I value it quite a lot. Besides, even bad tea is decent, and this is not a bad tea. This is good tea. It's just not amazing, but the good tea is still awesome. So anyway, I do see what is happening over there. That's really not nice. So anyway, I need to create two attacker ships in mutation system. Oh, I will. And it gives me Hyperion, but that's really nice, actually. So let's see, what else do we have? Declare war! Oh, you're making such a big mistake! <laughs> oh, I didn't, didn't run away. What's there, do you? 
I don't know. I guess maybe some other AI does attack them and they're kind of scared by that or whatever. <laughs> this is adorable. You guys declare war on me? I mean, that's brave. Very stupid and you're giving me benefits and you're not even besieging me. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, you're making a big mistake. Alrighty then, I want... This will give me extra 15 industry, this will give me less. But it will increase my food production, and I do care about more food production. But no, industry is more important at this point in time. Let's grab that real quick. And then move all my stuff around. My tank, thankfully, outrun my civilian ship, so it can now protect the Trime. And as for you, dear scavenger, well, you have the noble task of exploring a curiosity. Which was never explored up to this point, so let's see what we have. We have another bit of red sang, alright. And a fleet senator quest marker. Oh, it's the harmony quest, alright. It's. Uh, I would do that at some point. Accidentally, most likely, but whatever. I'll still do it. And Accus has a lot of curiosities, so I do want to send the scavenger over there. I do want to retrofit it, though, however, so that it can move a little bit faster and be less useless, so let's do just that. I'll just give it slightly a improved engines because I don't care about it too much. I don't want to spend too much money anyway. I will have to spend a lot because it's heavily damaged, but still let's go ahead and do that and send him all the way to Echius. Nice and easily. Except right now he doesn't have any extra movement left. Oh well. I guess I'll just use the probes to check out what exactly I want to check. There's a system over there that I know exists and a system over there that I want to know about so let's just send those probes over there. Now I also have my people ship which I am going to send all the way to Wardan, nice and easy. And this thing is just really strange. So let's see what the enemies. Do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly what I was talking about. Even just by the sheer fact that I have one tank which I was given from a quest and two scout ships which by default sell with kinetic weapons, this made the AI equip all the ships with beam weapons, just like I said they would. And this is the most pathetic fleet in the universe because it can be countered by much weaker fleet using literally any weapon type what I uh, would want. Despite the fact that they have armor, even if they were to go for the Tato strategy, they're still dead in the water. It's stupid. I hope that the devs will listen to me one day. I really do, because right now AI can be... AI is just, even LS AI is just so easy to beat because of this. I, I had to force myself into not using kinetics, for example, just because I don't want things to be too easy. Like, I like role playing and whatnot, but this is kind of forced role playing, it's not as cool. Anyway, Trarim, let's see, what do you need? You need more food, buddy. Uh, although, you are actually running out of space on this planet, so maybe not right now? You can give me some extra stuff, by which I mean science, and you can give me the spin project as well, because spin project is very nice. I don't prioritize science, though. And once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and probably colonize the Savannah plant, but we have some time before that happens. How much population do you have? It's a bit hard for me to tell because of uh, how big this plant is or isn't. Maximum population 11. Alright, I have plenty of space before I max out. I don't have to worry about just yet. Alright, good, 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 good. Oh yes, perfect. Alright, you need a spin project, but we'll deal with that a little bit later. And everything seems to be mostly good. Happy magnetics are almost done. Let's end the turn and drink some tea. Mmm. I love it so much. Alright, I lost a legendary deed. Whatevs, I don't really care that much. And they appreciate peaceful behavior. Now, in Endless Legend, this would mean that AI, the AI is about to attack me. In this case, nobody would say that this also means that they would attack me. And I think that they will, but they might reconsider because I'm about to gain an army. So, speaking of army, now, I could improve my starting ships into soldier class hulls. This will make them ridiculously powerful and I'll do just that, because this will make them good enough to actually be relevant, not only just relevant, they will wreck everything up until late game and even there, then they will still be relevant. So yes, I am going to upgrade them as quickly as possible. I don't need to worry about applied uh, genics just yet, even though this and the guard class 
those are both ships that I want to have in my uh, fleet composition, but right now, not necessarily. Not very necessary. Now, I know I am technically speaking at Wolverine and Fallen, and I should hurry up, hurry up with ship production, but don't you worry. Even a few ships will stop an entire armada from the Unfallen because they are still think I'm using Kinetix and I'm about to use improved sync lasers with improved damage, with improved ship design. They are not going to even stand a chance against me. Also, an important thing is that, well, now I can finish my faction quest, which I really do want to. And the best system I have. Mutation only has three planets, unfortunately, so I think Coast is going to be the best system I have right now and in the near future as well. So let's go for Synchronous Hive and make sure that I can get it in a single off Krangler. This didn't actually do anything except for waste me some dust. I hate it when the game does that. It's like you can buy it up, but no, actually you have to spend exactly one turn on it anyway, which is really stupid. Whatever. Uh, alrighty then, Tikanan still continue to breed, that's nice. I'm going to send one extra over to Trireme because Trireme is a safe place to have them. So, change the, this, uh, change the destination to Trireme and send one Tikanan over there, nice and easy. Just so that they can breed a little bit better. Now, let's uh, have my fleet smooth, nice and easy. And the reason why, by the way, I'm not declaring war on those guys is because... Uh, oh wait, they don't get increased stuff. Alrighty then, declare war. Nice. Now I have increased approval and those guys stay still love me. I wish the game would tell me why that happens when it happens. Also, alright, my fingers was stuck for a while. Alrighty then, uh, let's see, let's see, what else do I need to do, actually do? Delphinus, you need orders, dear buddy. Let's go for this big project, like I said. Let's uh, go for... I do care more about food than anything else. This place is barren of food after all. So it's kind of important to get. Speedy product is not very necessary right now, but I will use a lot of influence once I run my laws. And I will run them as soon as I make a fleet, so... I probably do want to stock up on influence as quickly as possible, so I'll do just that. Delicious. Alrighty then, so, success, this is very nice, uh, you can read that for yourself by pausing the video as always. I got my Endless Hero who is going to be my Admiral, and now the other quest. In this case, it doesn't matter what you choose, it does not lock you into any paths or anything, it's just whichever your preference is. So, one gives you access to Endless Augmentation Factory, and this forces you to search uh, well, it tells you exactly what you need to do, which is a pretty decent uh, improve, I suppose. The other alternative is Accelerated Ovi Thingy, which is a worse price, in my opinion, and it's harder to achieve because it will take a while for you here to be level 9. So let's go ahead and, and use Soldiers. Approve. Bam. And I need to send a good enough fleet over to Infinite Factory. Should be good enough. Easy enough, I mean. I should be able to finish this quest line in a matter of moments. Now, as for my hero, I don't need to do anything with him right now because I don't have a fleet to attach him to. So I can save a little bit of death by not attaching him to a fleet. Of course, this also costs him experience because he does gain experience per turn by just being somewhere, but right now I don't care. I c he can wait for a turn. Actually, he would have to wait for a bit longer. Uh, fine, I will deploy him as a, an independent fleet. And before I do that, I'm going to let him level up. So. This is, uh, this is the Endless Tech Tree, which I already talked crap about, so I don't need to reiterate for now. So I'm going to go for the Galactic Sense. This is one of the better abilities on this Tech Tree, by the way. Extra movement points? I like that, and I'm not gonna say no to that. And extra experience for free, this is also something that I do enjoy. And at some point I'll go for both levels of By the Book, but right now I care mostly about the ability to move quickly and to, extra, to gain extra experience because of how useful extra experience is. As for his ship, well, what he has right now, just it simply will not do. So I'm going to change that, but no, I'm not going to change that right now for the very simple reason that I don't want the AI to adapt to his ship. So I'm just going to create a fleet uh, over at... Uh, I'm too scared to put him at mutation because if the enemy flies over there and kills him, that would be very inconvenient. So I'll put him at host for the time being. 
and he's going to guard the system nice and easy and just sit here and look pretty, I suppose. Alrighty then, let's finish the movement of all my stuff and let's deal with the other things I need to deal with. So, let's see, this planet is almost depleted, but I do have a planet to run away to if necessary. Supreme Project is not necessary right now, however. And the game keeps making me think about going for Endless Research Park and Endless World. But I do have a quest to go for the slices, don't I? I do kind of want to wait with the slices until I finish Extreme Composites. I mean, that is a very valid reason to wait with that. So I ain't going to wait. And instead I'm going to... You know what? The boss of the walls. I will go for Endless Research Park over here. Meanwhile, the host is about to finish with the Academy Embassy. And it will have to wait a bit before Great and Shield... Oh, uh, oh, it's almost depleted. I need to call another Tundra. Ah, this will be easy. Good. I was almost afraid for a second, but now I don't need to be. Good, 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 goody. Alright, I'm running kind of low on bo all resources, but I'm also gaining them at a decent enough pace, which is uh, fun. I can also go for system improvement on one of my systems, which I definitely will do. And only one of my systems, right? Yes, I'm now out of Red Sang, but this is fine. And your maximum population is 9, so I'm about to reach the cap, which I don't want to happen, so... For the time being, I'm going to go for Greta and shoot the laboratories later on, I'll change things around. Have you really caught us a gas giant? Oh man, those guys are certainly going to declare a war on me anytime now. But I still... Uh, whatever, I don't know what I wanted to say, I just wanted to blabber nonsense, I guess. Judging by the kind of sound that came out of my mouth, which was kind of nasty. Anyway, let's change my military, because it's actually quite important. I now want to make sure that my military is enti composed entirely out of tanks. And also I want to make those tanks actually good by giving them extra HP. Nice and easy, this will be a quite an expensive upgrade, but uh, I like having it. Alrighty then. And I think everything is ready and set for this particular turn, unless my population has already arrived, and indeed it has. Oh, but, okay, no, no, no. I really want to do this system to have modernization, but I need to send the Harrishes back from Trireme because I don't want all three of them to be on this system. That's not something I want. So let's change that and end my turn and drink some more tea. Alrighty then. First things first, before I forget about it, let's go ahead and send one Horsham back to my home system, to the host. And then I'll send the other Horsham to... Actually, I'll send this guy to... Uh, Dolphinus first, because this is a longer journey, and then I'll send the other one to host. And Dolphinus for the time being, yeah, it's got plenty of space, so that's fine. Let's have a look, look see. Wonder, build of Wonders is done. Oh, I, I did it! That's awesome! I love that. Alright, cool. I'm really happy about that. Let's see, make a choice. I need to... Yeah, I definitely want to have extra experience on my hero. I don't... I mean, I do care about approval, don't get me wrong, but extra experience is delicious. I want it. So let's get that out of the way. The I met the cell phones. There are some among us. They are reserved because they just met me. I don't really care. I'm going to kill them later. This is going to be the iconic cell phone versus Kravis battle that started the hub for Endless Space 2 way back when that one of the games comes. And let's see what else do we have to do. My ships are down with us, I guess. Now the exciting thing is to just uh, modify them. I don't need the Marauders for now, or actually ever. So I'm just gonna deal with slices. So all of the things you thought you had, they are kind of useless and dead to me. So, first things first, give them a bunch of lasers. Now I can, just to make it fun, this is so cool. Now, just to make it fun, I can give them one pinch beam. It's not efficient, it's not min maxing. I you should probably just have design ships that are all focused on just one ship, one weapon, and if necessary, have different types of ships with different types of weapons in a single fleet. But a single ship generally should have just one type of weapon. But it's way cooler to have a ship that can also do that, isn't it? Like, have a look see. It's like. Zzz. Oh, it's so cool. I do want him to have that. So, I will give it that just because of the cool effect. Rule of cool is very important in sci-fi. After all, I'm going to give him a bit of uh, projectile defense and basic uniform shielding, which is a lot more powerful. Now, this guy is very vulnerable to all sorts of uh, 
projectile weaponry. I'm really scared of what would happen if it were attacked by ships with missiles or ships with... Uh, or ships with kinetics, so I'm going to give it a bit more projectile defense. It now has no shields, mind you. Which is not ideal, but I do need some better plating before I can do anything else. And the, I really do need to give this guy some extra defense against that. Shielding is important, but it's not the most important thing ever. I'm also going to give it some extra dodge ability. And because this guy is kind of a glass cannon anyway, I'm going to increase his damage nice and easy. So there is that. Alright, good. Now, I look at the amount of damage it gives me. Extra damage it gives me. About 40 extra on such a small ship. This is a really big deal. So let's uh, make that go into effect. And let's make some ships, shall we? How many can I make? Well, only two before I run out of Hyperium and Titanium. But mostly Hyperium because look at how expensive this ship is in terms of Hyperium requirements. Very expensive indeed, I do agree. In fact, just because it is early game and I don't have a lot of Hyperium for the time being, because those ships are quite likely to die anyway, I will not give this ship extra evasion. Even though evasion is awesome. Evasion is really awesome. But no, I need to save at least some Hyperium and extra. One Hyperium per ship is still something. It's only one Hyperium. No, no, no. I changed my mind. I want to have a fleet that is actually really, really good and elite in the stuff. So no, you will have the extra dodge ability. And I'll queue up just one, I suppose, for the time being. And another one over here because the quest told me to create something over here, so I will do just that. And uh, there is, this is all I had to say for the time being. My manpower is going strong, which I like. Now let's have a quick look. See, I do need to have some extra minerals gathered, so I will go for expanded mines ASAP. I, although it is quite expensive and I need to make my fleets a little bit faster than that, so I think how many spaces will have to do. Then again, this would not allow me to go for Eden Project, so no, I care about Expanded Mines a bit more, I suppose. So there's that done. And the 10, yes, no, maybe, I think I'm good on all fronts. I probably am. Or do I want to send both Horoshos back to Hoss and leave Delphinus? No, I do want Delphinus to have Horoshos because Horoshos are really good on sterile planets, so yeah, let's do just that. So I have a ship at the mutation, let's go ahead and send it over to, well, Delphinus, I suppose, because I wanted to meet up with the fleet that I'm making the host. Speaking of which, let's merge the two of you together. Oh, come on, Sophos bugged my interface. Ah, alright, let's try that again. So I want my ship to be applied over here, and before I forget, let's send... Uh, another bit of uh, population over to host this will be the Harshams nice and easy so that those guys can live long and prosper good 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 goody goody you guys meet up in Dolphinus I guess you can guard it why not oh the reason why not is because there are prowlers on the way to host but though it will be some time before they can actually reach it so that's uh, for the most part fine Let's modify my hero's ship, shall we? Because he does need to also my other hero leveled up, so let's give him some extra levels in industry production because he needs that. And you just say uh, you need a better ship, a much better ship, in fact, so I'll deal with that. How much uh, happened do I have? A decent amount, so I can go ahead and give you all of that. And as I said, I want to be cute, so I will be cute. I will give this guy a useless weapon just because, hey, it's... It's cool looking, right? It's a good of an, a good enough reason for me to actually have that. Alright, you have a bit of armor and a bit of shooting, because why not? This guy cannot really die as long as my fleet doesn't die. And maybe in case the enemy fleet does use energy weapons, this guy will be the last man standing, which could be quite useful. As besides, yeah, it might focus fire on the hero ship, which uh, well, I would be okay with. And if they would use energy weapons for that, then this guy would be a pretty good tank. So there's that. Alright, I will give you the... You don't really need to dodge, I suppose, but I will give you the ability anyway. And some extra damage is always welcome. Apply the changes, nice and easy. This got rid of basically all my Hyperion, which is sad. Or rather makes me sad, but suppose some things are unavoidable sometimes. I didn't check what the Sophos tried to tell me. I don't really care necessarily, but whatever. 
Let's call this war then. So let's see, tiny monsoon. I do. Ooh. Oh, this is so pretty and beautiful and whatnot. Anyway. Hmm. Anyway, let's go ahead and colonize it. Nice and easy. Let's watch the cutscene because it's again like pretty. That was, this is very ominous music, if I may say so myself. But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and speed up the colonization effort. I'm not going to use uh, Freehold Fanfare, just because it would take forever for any people to actually get into the system. And from where should they go? Mutation has a lot of extra food, so I guess Mutation would be the system that will be providing this place with food. So, Mutation, there we go, and they should still have plenty of food left over. Yes, they do indeed, so that's good. Let's do just that, nice and nice, and uh, I don't need extra titanium too badly, but I do need extra hyperium really badly, so let's focus on grabbing that as quickly as possible, and hyperium over here as well is uh, worth grabbing, although this planet uh, is running out of space, again it can have 11 people, so it still has some time, but it should prepare to expand, so I'll do just that. Let's see, Dolphinus, dear Dolphinus, you need extra everything because you're awesome, I like you a lot. And uh, Yudis says... Oh, this is still the same 10? Holy balls, I did not expect that. So let's see, let's see... No, this is a different 10, isn't it? I'm so confused. No, it is a different 10, maybe? Yes? No? Then why has this guy not reached the other place yet? Is it because he's so very slow? It might be just because he's so very slow. But anyway, you guys go back over to host for the very simple reason. Oh no, this is still the same tent that I thought it was. All right, I'm I'm really confused. Maybe it's because it's getting late, and this video is long enough to call it the day anyway. Uh, so I'll just do a few things and then probably wrap it up. So let's have a quick thinky. What kind of research do I want to go for next? Improve my military? Well, that is a tempting idea, isn't it? But especially since I actually need to have some better armor. And I can use titanium for that purpose. This will make my ships cost even more titanium, however, and I'm not sure if I'm very keen on this idea. For the time being, I think my ships are mostly fine, so what I should go for instead is probably more science. I do like some extra science. The ability to colonize other systems are good. I don't think I have any moons anywhere, so this is worthless. So let's see, colonize eyes. I do have toxic plants that I need to colonize. Player is useless, but booster program is kind of useful. How close am I to actually trigger in this place? Not close yet, but at some point I will need the booster program anyway. So I'll probably go for it. Commission frameworks, however, you do want to get quickly if you ever plan to get those. And I do want to get them because, well, they increase your luxury resource production, which I actually care quite a bit about. So I will probably go for them. I'm looking at the systems nearby and the luxuries I can get. There's the blue cup mode over there. Only a little bit from what I can tell, yeah. So I definitely want to have uh, those guys just to increase the luxury gain I can get, I think. I can also ignore that and go for Colonel's Lava because I will need Colonel's Lava anyway. And then probably Neural Robotics I'm thinking. Extra 20 per planet is, is nothing to ignore, certainly not. But I really like trading companies, so let's go for trading company, I think. I don't need lavas just yet. AA labor, though, is very tempting. But I want to start leveling up my trading networks as quickly as possible, so I'll go for that. Alrighty then, I think everything is good, set in place for now. I drank all my tea. And this is a perfect place to end this video, ladies and gentlemen, it was Ponchos, also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer, those guys love me for no reason whatsoever, which makes me happy. Thank you very much for watching, some kind of event happened, oh that's a good event as well, and I'll see you online.